I'm 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob special, Test of the West. This special was requested by Ironclad Charger 66. Very fine folk, ladies and gentlemen, very fine folk indeed. Test of the West is about when SpongeBob finds out that he has no ancestor when everyone's talking about the story of his ancestors. Ye doggy. Poor Sponge, though. So then, with the help of dear old Sandy, they go into the Bikini Bottom Library. It turns out that SpongeBob does have an ancestor, and that would be by the name of SpongeBuck. You learn the history, and that's all you need to know about Pistol West. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Whew. Pest of the West, in my opinion, is a fantastic special. This special is so good. It is so creative. And I am just impressed all around on how they did the special. Whole history about SpongeBob's ancestor, SpongeBug, how the whole thing started, the history of him, what he did, and how he was important to Bikini Bottom. I just think it's really cool. I also love the fact that this is a Western special because, I'm going to be honest, I'm a huge Western fan. I see Western movies and I love Western films. And so I think them doing a Western special was just amazing in my opinion. But I love how this plays tribute to the Western films too because you'll even notice a Western references which I thought was very clever. I loved that they did that. I feel like the special truly did a great job paying tribute to the whole Western thing. And that's what I really, really enjoyed about Pest of the West. The whole animation setting, you know, when we're in the Western times of Bikini Bottom, I really, really like that. I just think it looks so beautiful. And I love the costumes that the characters were wearing as well. You know, SpongeBob, Patrick, Mr. Krabs. You know, that was all very interesting. And this episode has a lot of humor too. I would laugh a lot in this episode. And the fact... That Spongebob and Patrick call themselves idiot friends. Well, Patrick calls the both of them idiot friends. I just think that was very funny. It was cute. And I thought they had good chemistry. Plankton, <laughs> the ancestor of him, of course. How he rules the town. Just the irony because he's so small. But everyone's just afraid of him. Oh my gosh. It was stupid. But it was hilarious in my opinion. I just thought... That was hilarious how the writers just handled that. The whole history with Spongebob and how everything just went down was just really cool. And how Spongebob truly has a very brave and noble ancestor. I just really love that. And then the showdown between Spongebob and Plankton's ancestor. I'm not going to spoil what happens. But all I could say is that it was unexpected for me. And it was hilarious. <laughs> And even though that could have happened in the beginning of the special, uh, just how the special plays out all around, I just thought it was so hilarious. The writers truly did a really good job with this special. My only flaw with this special is just that it does get a tad rushed. Like, there were a couple of scenes where it does get a tad rushed just because I feel the writers wanted to get to the point so I could kind of I could accept it for that but I just wish in a couple of scenes it would just slow down but the pacing overall except for like a couple of scenes it was paced perfectly the ending of Spongebob finding the Spongebob statue because at the end they have a statue in memory of him I just thought that was awesome. Very nice statue. Funny statue too. <laughs> I also really enjoyed how they ended the special with Spongebob and Patrick's ancestors singing Idiot Friends. I just thought that was really funny. It was really cute. And it was just a fantastic way to end this fantastic western special. I really enjoy the living hell out of Pest of the West. I'm very impressed with the special all around. I just love the slip cover on this thing. The slip cover, look. The slip cover is beautiful. I love the slip cover. I love the design. So, just so you guys know very quickly to know about me, I think the best looking SpongeBob DVD is Pest of the West. I just love the design. I just love the slip cover. It's the most creative SpongeBob DVD I've seen, in my humble opinion. I'm going to give Pest of the West a 9.5 out of 
10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the SpongeBob episode. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have TAGA POWER! We're in.